What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pump Chasers. Speaking of Pump Chasers, guys, you already know. Get your Pump Chasers subs at Tiger Fit. Let me show you, let me show you leveled right. There we go. Stack that up. TigerFitness.com. Get your Pump Chasers subs. Get your Pump and Grind pre workout. Get your Intra Pump BCAs. Get your Cuts FTS Thermogenic, especially if you're cutting. And also, about that life items will be dropping pretty soon. Around the fall, I predict. Guys, be sure to get 30 of them bitches at beastmode316.com. Guys, you either bought that life or you not. I've said many times. Bodybuilding is a discipline backed by universal law and principle, baby. Which is why you get everything you put into this shit. You get exactly what you work for. I love this shit. Now, before I start, I've already mentioned a couple times. I'm going to mention it again. I'm going to be in Tennessee August the 26th and August the 27th. We're going to have open gym. Okay, it's, going to be, it's, been a, it's been a while since we did an open gym. I'm trying to do this a little more frequently, guys. The love is out there. If the love is out there, I would definitely love to do this more frequently. Go to different states. Hey, at the end of the day, I'm here to put out some good energy, okay? So we're going to go to Tennessee. Mark Lobliner is going to be there and Alan Roberts. There's going to be free food. There's going to be supplement samples. There's going to be outright bars. Guys, good vibes. We're going to take pictures. We're going to get a good pump. Anybody got any questions they want to ask in person will be there. If you're in need of some good vibes, pull up. I have the information on the screen for Friday. I have the information on the screen for Saturday, and the information is also in the description section. Just copy and paste it if you're going to be in Tennessee, or if you want to come to Tennessee, come fuck with us, okay? You already know, I'm cutting me a rug. Saturday night, I'm cutting a rug. I like Tennessee. I had a good time last time I was out there. All right, so let's get to the show, guys. Ask Beast Mode Show. If you would like to ask a question, send your video to askbeastmode at hotmail.com and yes, I use fucking hotmail. Get over it, I'm simple, okay? I'm simple. I like hotmail, it works, it is what it is. Send your video to askbeastmode at hotmail.com and uh, if you want your physique critiqued, be sure to let us know a little bit about yourself. Let us know how long you've been training, what are your goals, what type of splits you're on. You know, just watch the examples you'll see on the screen. You know, just pretty much watch these guys on the screen. These guys did a very good job at leading by example. I want a variety of questions. You can ask me a variety of questions that you think I might have some good insight for you. Supplement questions. Uh, um, if you're in the gym training, maybe record some of your sets from different angles. If you have any questions about your form, you know, I want to bring this show back. I just want to do a good job as serving you guys, providing you guys some insight to the best of my abilities, okay? So, and one more thing. Guys, people went out their way to send videos to me so we can have something to watch. I ask, let's keep the comments very respectful. I'm not really trying to babysit comment sections. I do have a life, but if I happen to scroll down and see some negativity, I will block you. It is what it is, guys. It's all about good vibes here, and I'm pretty sure with these two guests we have today, it's going to help somebody out. Okay, so without too much talking, let's get straight to the show. Bam! Hey, what's happening, family? Peace mode. What's going on? This is Omar, Fitness Gems. Um, I'm six foot, uh, 182.7 pounds. I weighed myself this morning, and that's what I was. Uh, I like the classic physique, body structure. Uh, you know, Chris Bumstead, Brian Ainsley, Keon Pearson, that, those type of physiques. The physique I think that fits me best um, is uh, Michael Hearn. So it just looks good in clothes. I don't want to look too crazy, too bulky. But right now I'm trying to put on 10 pounds of muscle for next year. So I'm doing a lean bulk for now because it's just hard to put on muscle when you're not taking certain things. So, um, yeah, man, I'm just going to do the pose in. You can just give me your critiques. Um, I know what I think, but, you know, I rather I respect your opinion. So I'd rather get yours as well, all right? So I'm just gonna do the posing and you tell me what's what. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, relaxed front, back side, relax back, relax side. Back here. And that's it, man. Appreciate you. The feedback would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, bro. Fitness gems. All right, homies and homets. Y'all seem to enjoy the play-by-play um, -play action. So we're going to go ahead and keep that going. When we, when we critique physiques, I'll try to keep the play-by-play -play shit going. But like I said, guys, I want a variety of questions. So go ahead and send those video questions to AskBeastMode and Hotmail.com. So let's go ahead and get this video up. Now, we've already heard the guy talk, right? So let's go ahead and mute his voice and take a look at his physique. Let's take a look, man. Appreciate everybody sending emails. Like I said in the last video, if you want your physique critiqued, let's get a front relaxed, both sides in the back, and then start flexing. It'll, get, it'll kind of give me an idea of your development. Obviously, we look different when we're relaxed and when we're flexed. Okay, so as you see right here, nice full chest. You can see his front delt sweeping. Okay, good shoulders. Now, like he just said, he's bulking. So keep that in mind, guys. He said he's bulking. He's looking to put on a little size for next year. He said 10 pounds to be exact. Now, he said he's trying to look like Michael Hearn. He's shooting for the stars. That's a whole other time. <laughs> That's a whole other topic for a whole other video. But the names of people he said he look up to and want to reach for, yeah, he shoot for the stars. But this guy has a classic looking physique and he has a great structure and he has good genetics too. Okay, so as we see, we see the shape of his shoulders, nice full chest, great abs. And keep in mind, he's bulking. Now, his legs can use more size. Obviously, he's bulking. He's going to improve where he's weak. This is the journey, guys. It might take you three or four bulks to be where you want to be. Trust me on that. I'm just now getting to a point where I'm starting to like the way my shoulders are looking. Okay? So, shit takes time. Especially if you're doing it without drugs and shit like that. Let's play a little bit. Okay, here's from the side. Okay. Yeah, like I said, could use more size in the legs for sure. Got good development. Now, obviously, he's bulking. I'm pretty sure he wants he wants everything developed, you know. But obviously, when we have weak areas, we want to make those a priority. That's why we have uh, training principles. Um, Joe Weider, if anybody familiar with uh, Joe Weider's training philosophy, training principles, he had a thing called drop sets. And he also had a thing called the priority principles. Uh, we got to really prioritize our weak points. Okay. Now, not saying his legs aren't there. You can clearly see he work them. Look at that rectus femoris. Look how it sweeps. He's standing from the side 
and you can clearly see the records from Morris sweeps out. So I'm not saying he don't got no legs. I'm just saying it got to come up a little bit for balance. It's all about harmony, flow, and balance. Okay. So as you can see from the back, keep in mind he's not even flexing. You can see some calf development. You can see some hamstring development. Okay. So again, we're not saying he doesn't hit his legs. We're not saying that at all. We're just saying for balance, classic physique. Keep in mind, he's shooting for the stars. He's trying to be like Michael Hurd and shit, you know. So I'm letting him know, uh, you know, what he can do to get closer to that level. Okay. So definitely, guy, you can tell this guy works out, which is why he has a page. I put the page on the screen. If I want to give him a follow, anybody want to tell him they saw him on the show, be sure to go to his Instagram and fuck with him, guys. All right. And the side again, okay? So let's get, let's get some posing. Let's see what he's looking like. Let's do some posing, guys. Bam, let's pause it right there. Look at that rib cage, nice and full. Classic structure, guys, classic physique. Look at the serratus, those little fingers to the side of the lats, right below the nipple area, you see that? Got some good serratus action. You wanna bring that shit up, guys? Do some dumbbell pullovers. And, of course, full range of motion when you're training in the gym. Full range of motion, you're going to recruit more fibers. Okay? Look at those bicep peaks. Okay? Look at the sweep of the tricep. See how it hangs? Make sure you guys are hitting the long head of your tricep. If you're not hitting the long head of your tricep, you can forget having some hang. So he has nice arms, nice full rib cage, serratus popping. Look at that midsection. Keep in mind, he's bulking. Nice tapered midsection. Now look at the legs. You can see they're developed. You can see the heads. You can see some lines. But look at this big gap right here. The inner thighs. Got to hit those inner thighs a little harder. Uh, inner thigh tips, guys. There's a machine called the hip adductor. Women have made it famous, but guys, bodybuilders, especially males, can benefit from this too. I've seen great results from doing a hip abductor. My, my, my bad, the hip adductor, okay? Bringing the, uh, bringing the knees in, bringing the thighs in. You know, I started doing it when I saw Kai Green doing it. I started seeing Kai Green using it. I'm like, this big, overly muscled motherfuckers doing this machine? I'm going to give it a try. I'm glad I did. So hip adductor machine. And of course, angles. You know, so many people have built great legs just from squatting and doing lunges only. But if you're not one of those people that have been blessed to benefit from only doing like two movements in the gym, angles. So try doing some wide stance leg presses with the toes slightly flared out. That's gonna really get you a nice stretch at the bottom really engage those hip adductors. Nice to control, nothing choppy, nothing fast, because you want to feel the tension on your feet the whole time. If you press too hard and fast or drop the weight too fast, you're not going to feel the weight pressing against your feet the whole time, and you can fuck up your knees. So control the weight the whole time, nice and deep at the bottom. Pause when you feel that stretch, and then come up pressing through those feet, okay? So uh, hip adductor machine, wide stance leg press are my favorites. But there's so many things you can do. You can do uh, sumo deads. You can do uh, wide stance goblet squats. You can do very deep lunges. There's other ways to hit it, but those two are my favorite. Okay, got to bring up the inner thigh area. Let's go ahead and play some more. Okay, as you see, guys, great arms. Look at that back, nice and wide, bring it to a nice tapered waist, like we just talked about. Break up those inner thighs a bit, okay? But like I said, he's bulking, so I'm pretty sure he's working on bringing up overall size in general. That's just a that's just a nagging weak point right there, in my opinion. Especially if you're training natural. You can never have too much legs. Now, of course, you have those one percenters out there whose legs are so fucking big, it just throw off the whole physique. But in most cases, 
that's not going to happen for most people. And, you know, most people, guys, most natural people at that, the more legs, the better. The more legs you can build naturally, the better. So if he's bulking, I'm pretty sure he's training those legs. And while he's training those legs, make sure you focus on that weak point because his physique will look even better with some nice fullness right up in here. With some nice fullness up in here for sure. Sweeps on the outside and fullness on the inside. Okay. Nice side chest pose. Let's go ahead and bring that side chest pose back one time. Let's go ahead and bring that back. Now, look at the way he's posing. This is why posing is very important, guys. You can have a great physique, but you can fuck yourself in a show. Or you can fuck yourself in pictures just by not hitting the pose right. And what I mean by hitting the pose right, not hitting the pose in a way that complements your specific physique. And the way you hit a pose that complements your physique is a, is a pose that kind of makes your strong points look better and hides any flaws you have. You know, as you see this arm right here, I would like to see his arm tucked in a little bit. I would like to see his chest up a little more. And I would like to see him suck his stomach in. That's going to build that illusion. Smaller waist is going to make the chest look even bigger and better. And if he presses his arm and he, and he brings his elbow down just a little bit, and then kind of pushes his humerus into his chest, you know, adduct at the shoulder a little bit, that's gonna make these fibers pop a little more. But like I said in previous videos, y'all wanna talk more about posing, we can do that, you know. But great physique right here. Nice classic physique. All right. He's hitting the side chest, I believe. Okay. And one more thing, we talked about the inner thighs, right? I want to see those fucking hamstrings hanging, as you see on the side. That vastus lateralis, that outer head of the quad is popping, right? You want those outer sweeps, guys? Or at the very least, you want definition from the side of your leg? Do not neglect that head. That's one of the reasons why I love doing step-ups and lunges. Really going to help target that head. Okay, but I want to see them fucking the hams hanging. The hams for the mams. I want to see those hams hanging. So we just talked about bringing those inner thighs up, you know, the adductor area. But I want to see them hams hanging. And one of my favorite hamstring movements is um, the seated ham curl. Notice how when I gave him inner thigh tips, um, that's an awkward movement. You got to understand, guys, anything that gives the body movement is muscle. Just like I'm blinking my eyes, there's muscles around the eyes that allow me to blink. Anything that moves the body is muscle. So a lot of times you might notice you have weak points because you're not training through those awkward movements. Okay? And seated ham curl is an awkward movement. And if you really master that movement, get a good mind-muscle connection to where you literally feel the blood pumping into those hams and you obviously getting stronger, adding weight to it, that's going to really help your side poses. And of course, stiff legs. And that's really a hard movement to master as well. Notice the movements that are really hard to master are the areas most people are going to be weak at. Like rear delts is hard to master. So many people lack rear delts. You know, So stiff legs with good form to the point where you're feeling it and your lower back isn't taking over the movement, and seated ham curls is really going to help you get that nice hang, that nice sweep from the side. So, yes, hamstrings for sure. I want to see them fucking hands for the mams hanging. Okay? All right. Some back poses. Let's see what he got. So, as you see, guys, look, you can see clearly the way the light and shadows are hitting his uh, hams. You can see he hit him. He has development. We're not saying he doesn't have development. We're just saying there's weak areas he can bring up for more balance and more flow to take him to new heights. He's already high. We're trying to take him even higher. Okay?
Bam. Okay. Like we just talked about earlier. Look at the delts. You can see his front delts from the back. Okay. Look at that sweep. Look at that. And then, bam. This is geometry right here. Everything is geometry. Everything is lines. Everything is angles and degrees. Look at that. Bam. Bam. Like two mountains. And again, we got that nice tricep sweep. Nice tricep sweep. And we got that peak. And you can see the front depth from the back. That's very important, guys. If any of you guys want that high-quality physique, you better hit those areas, And if, especially if you're thinking about competing. If I'm a judge, that's what I want to see. I want to see nice definition from every angle, okay? Good back. Now, his back is nice and wide. I like to see a little more thickness on the lower area, down up in here. See, as you see? Up in the trap rumble area, upper lat, especially in this upper lat, great. But right here, I want to see a little more thickness. And that comes from close grip rowing. I like close grip rowing with heavy weight. You know, where I'm not going to say my form is sloppy, but the form might not be that perfect. You know, the back is one of those areas that you can get away with a little cheating. Especially if you keep your posterior chain nice and tight, nice and engaged. But of course, throw in some lighter weight sets to where you're pausing each rep, digging into those fibers. I want to see more thickness and detail up in this area. Close grip rowing, close grip T-bar rows, close grip seated rows, one arm rows, really extending at the shoulder, getting that shit back as far as you can with a nice pause. That's one of the reasons why I like doing one arm rows mixture of doing dumbbells and cables because honestly if you're only doing dumbbells you won't get the benefit of cables and if you're only doing cables you won't get the benefit of doing the dumbbells so i like mix it up and doing a little bit of both maybe one day is dumbbells one day is cables or one day is hammer strength one day is dumbbells you know, i mix it up because all these tools in the toolbox have something to offer so definitely the lower part of these lats all right Great back, too. See, so look at him before he even starts flexing. You can see the thickness up in here. Okay? So he has a great upper back for sure. Now we want to bring shit down up in here. Okay? Trust me, these little details matter. When you're trying to beat elite status, when you want to reach elite status, all details matter. Okay? All right. Pretty good last spread. I think he could pose it a little better, though. He can open up right here. See the, the, the scapula era? He can protract a little bit more. So, again, guys, if you're ever going to compete or if you just want to show off your physique, really practice your posing. He looks good, but if he practiced this pose a little more, it could be better for sure. All right. Nice vacuum. Let's pause that for a minute. As you see, you can see development right by the elbow. Okay, guys? Like this guy, he's in that gym for real. I noticed all the little details. <laughs> all right, there it is, guys. Go ahead and close this video out. All right, so let's run back one more time. The points he can bring up. He already has a great physique. Just areas he can bring up to take him to the next level. All right? Inner thighs, the adductor area. We want to see thickness and fullness, a nice sweep in those hamstrings, especially from those side poses. And, of course, lower lat development. Okay, those three things. Bring those things up, and I'm telling you, it would take his physique from already a high level to even a higher level. Now, this guy's name was Omar. He has an Instagram called The Fitness Gems. If anybody want to give him a follow, be sure to give him a follow. Let him know, hey, you saw him on the show and show him some love, all right? You know, not only does this guy have a nice physique, a classic looking physique, but based off his Instagram, 
he seems very passionate. And that's something you got to have, guys. If you want to stay in this game for some – keep in mind, like I just said earlier, one bulk, two bulk may not do it for you. This is a fucking journey. Marathon, not a sprint. You need to maintain high level of passion to make it through the storm. Because let me tell you, you're going to have a lot of ups and downs. This is a grind. But it's very well worth it. I love this game. Okay? Bodybuilding is a discipline backed by universal law and principles. With that said, you get exactly what the fuck you put in. All right, guys? So let's go ahead and get to the next guest. Here's the next What guest. is up, Chris Jones? Angel Lorenzo here. And first of all, Chris, I just want to thank you. I've been watching you since I was a senior in high school. My physique may not look like it, but I have been working out for six years. Very inconsistent for three years, very consistent for three years. So it's a half and half game. But here's my question. I do just want you to generally critique my physique. What are the weak points that I have? Where are my strong points? And I also do want you to give me a suggestion on the next program that I'm going to do. Let me give you a little bit of background on the program that I'm doing right now. So the program that I'm doing right now is push pull legs, high volume. I have been doing it for eight weeks, okay? And the last program that I did before that, it was a powerlifting program, and I did that for two months, about eight weeks ago. So this is my question. What program should I actually do next? That I did a powerlifting, and I did a, a high volume push for legs. And also, these are my calories. My calories are at 3,400 right now. I have been on the bulk since April. I have gained 22 pounds since April 22nd, I believe so, that's when I started. And I was at 118 and now I'm at 140. My body fat, you can take a guess, this is me doing absolutely nothing. I believe my body fat is probably going to be around 24%, okay? So should I cut? Should I go on a mini cuts or should I continue to bulk? My goal is to get to 150, but you're gonna see my physique right now. Be honest with me, do I have too much fat on me? Do I need to go a small cut and then go to the 150? I really want your opinion on that, okay? Your suggestion. So this is gonna be my, oh, I'm five foot four, by the way. Very short, but it's all good. So look, this is gonna be my physique, no flex first. All right, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you, Chris, and thank you. Have a good day. Let's go ahead and address something real quick, okay? Um, if you were paying attention, he says he's been bulking since April. So technically, he's been bulking four months, and he's already put on 22 pounds. Now, 22 pounds, man, to be honest with you, think about it. Only four months, that's a little bit over, uh, yeah, about six pounds a month, okay? Now, he's only five foot four. So to gain 22 pounds in only four months, that's quite a bit of weight. And if you notice, he I would have loved to see a before picture, you know. But let me tell you, he was only 118 pounds. He gained 22 pounds in only four months, and he still looks pretty solid. That tells me right there, he must have been underweight. Now, I don't want to use that word malnourished especially without seeing a before picture to confirm, but he was definitely underweight. To put on 22 pounds at only five foot four in only four months, and he still looks pretty solid, that tells me he was pretty much underweight. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's physique. In the front, now he did say, I believe, I think he said he was about, he guessed he was around 24% body fat. Really hard to say without really being next to him, but I'm gonna guess just based off this video, somewhere between 20 and 25%, okay? That's just a guess, a good guess, based off my experience and what I'm seeing in the video, okay? Somewhere between 20 and 25 I guess on the lower end, you know, on the lower end of that 20 to 25, maybe 22. All right. So quad size, pretty good. We were just talking about inner thigh, adductor area. Look at that. Got some inner thigh meat going. Okay. We're not going to judge too hard. He's only been in the gym six years, three serious, three slacking. Shit, he was 180 pounds not long ago. But we're going to help him out and let him know what he can work on. In my opinion, he should be working on everything. He needs a well-balanced program, which is which is why I'm pretty sure he was on push-pull legs to begin with. Push-pull legs is very well-balanced. And you hit everything damn near two weeks, depending on how you have it structured. Okay? So pretty solid physique, man. Let's go ahead and play a little more. I would definitely like to see a little more upper chest. As you see, we got fullness down here, and it's a little shallow up in here. So definitely some upper chest action. We need a little more upper chest action, especially the upper inner portion. So definitely some kind of pressing, dumbbell pressing or barbell or both. Maybe one workout barbell, the other workout dumbbell, because they both have benefits. The barbell has benefits that the dumbbell doesn't have, and the dumbbells have benefits that the barbells don't have. So both. Okay, and then some kind of movement where you bring those shoulders in under resistance, like some kind of flying motion. Me personally, I love the standing uh, cable crossover, low to high, where, you know, your hands are down and you're coming up and in. Hands are down and you're coming up and in. That way you can really get a good squeeze on that upper pec, especially the upper inner portion. Okay, there's no way to just target your inner pec right but due to varying your angles you know you're gonna be able to stimulate fibers that you can't which is the fucking barbell okay it's all about angles degrees of motion okay here we go side shot okay solid physique guys like i said well balanced program he should be hitting everything especially on a bulk, especially coming from 118 pounds. Okay, but like I said, pretty solid physique, man. Let's see him from the back. Look at this back. Y'all see it right there? Look at that. All the way down to the lumbar area. Okay, look at the width. See the waist is right here? It comes out. The back comes out. So you got a nice back. Okay. But as you see, legs are smooth, okay? So he's definitely holding some fat in his legs. It's really hard to tell how much of this is muscle compared to fat. You know, just like women. Some women, they hold a lot of fat in their ass. So when they put them leggings on, it looks like they just super blessed. But in all reality, they just store a lot of fat in that area. They don't have a lot of muscle in that area. You know, which is why a lot of women are scared to diet. They're scared they'll lose their ass. Little fun fact for you guys. You know, like some people are genetically blessed where they build certain muscle groups with uh, relative ease. Um, some people store fat that way. You know, some people, when they bulk, they don't really put a lot of uh, fat in their stomach. It might go to their legs or some shit like that. You know, it, it looks like he holds a lot of fat in the legs. Legs look very smooth compared to the upper back area. His back... Shit, I'm not saying he got a shredded back, but you can definitely see some lines, some detail, some fullness. All right. All right, side shot. Not bad, guys. Solid physique. Oh, this is some poses. All right. As you see, good shoulder development. Look at that. Nice shoulder development right here. Again, we just talked about that upper chest. Upper chest needs to come up. See, as you see right here, see the way the light is hitting his chest? You can see he got some fullness down here. 
got to bring his upper chest up. That's one of the reasons why, if you notice on a lot of my uh, chest workout videos, I typically start with upper chest first. It's really hard to build that area up, okay? So upper chest for sure. And overall, just need size in general, but upper chest for sure, okay? Bam. Again, look at that back, guys. I love the way this back sweeps out. Look at that width compared to the waist. Now, keep in mind, he's not lean. Obviously, he's bulking. So, we're going to disregard the fat he's holding. But you can clearly see tapered midsection with a nice wide back. Now, he told us earlier in the video that he has a powerlifting background. Maybe those deadlifts and shit is what helped him with his back. He got a pretty good back, guys. Okay, now arms. He needs more arm size. He definitely needs more arm size to balance his physique. But I will say this. He has the potential to have some really good arms. Look at the way his, all his biceps insert. So he can potentially have some really nice peaks if they continue to grind. And his bicep to tricep ratio is pretty good, too, because as you may or may not know, the biceps are not supposed to be bigger than the tries. It's actually the triceps that makes up most of the arm, not the biceps. So the triceps is supposed to be bigger than the biceps. And he has a nice bicep to tricep ratio. He just needs more size to balance out his physique. Okay. So definitely upper chest and arm size, two weak points for him. Let's go ahead and run that back on the side chest. He didn't hold it long enough. Let's run that back real quick. Now, he's not really hitting the pose right. You're supposed to have your legs a little closer together, but, you know, fuck all that. Let's take a look at the physique, all right? So, as you see from the side, yeah, he can definitely use more size in the arms, okay? I would have liked it if he would hit the pose correctly because on a side chest pose, you're typically supposed to have your legs closer together. I would love to see how much hamstring would pop out. It's hard to tell how much hamstring hang he has because he's not setting his feet properly, okay? But since his legs look so smooth, we already know that they're not that developed because even when people bulk and they put on body fat, if you have some good thickness and development in your legs, you can still tell. And since his legs look so smooth, he definitely got to hit his legs. Okay, but not saying he doesn't have legs. Not saying that at all. I'm just saying he could bring them up, put a little more size on them. And he will. He's bulking. Okay. So, yeah, definitely more arm size. Okay. When you're doing a side chest pose, you should be looking thick. I want to see arms looking thick. I want to see that chest looking thick. And I want to see them hamstrings hanging. Okay. So as you see, he got a nice little cut in them triceps, okay? He got some nice development in his arms. Just got to get some more size in those arms, okay? See some back posing. Look at that last spread. told y'all he got a nice back. <laughs> Look at the lower part. Look at the lumbar area. Must be those deadlifts. That's why I like doing rack pulls, guys. It's not like doing deadlifts off the floor, but at least with that thoracic extension, you know, pulling a weight off below the knee, you're going to be able to get some movement and engage the traps in the lumbar area. Okay, but you got to be careful. You can fuck up your back doing rack pulls too if you're not careful. Okay, so make sure you're using that good form. But as you see, guys, nice, thick, dense lower back area. Okay. And again, legs look smooth. So we got to hit those legs on this bulk. But don't trip. It might take you two or three or four bulks to be where you want to be. It really kills me how so many people think that one bulk is just going to change their life. Guys, when you're doing this shit without drugs, you're going to have to learn some fucking patience. For sure. So many people lack patience. Okay. Great back. Now, look at this back double. Again, see? So remember the last guy? He had the front delt scooping, and then he had the biceps scooping, 
as you see, need to bring up these arms for more balance. For a more balanced physique, got to bring up these arms, okay? Okay, yeah, like I said, solid physique. For somebody who put on 22 pounds in only four months, he got a pretty solid physique, guys. Let me go ahead and pause this. Okay, close this video out. So let's go ahead and address a question he asked. He asked about split. He said he's already doing push-pull legs. Now, I'm not trying to pat my own self on the back, but it is what it is. I have a push-pull leg program at beastmode316.com, and in my opinion, it's probably one of the best push-pull leg programs out here, and it's high volume. Now, one thing about push-pull legs, guys, is when you, you got to understand – when we're talking about pulling, it's not just back, but your biceps is also in there and traps. So what I did on my push-pull leg program, one day you focus on the vertical movements and you hit your traps and biceps. And then the other day you hit your, your rowing motions and then you hit your traps and biceps. I did that because when you do a full-blown back workout, it's really hard to go hard in your biceps, and it's really hard to go hard in your traps. My push-pull leg program is high in volume, and I just emailed it to this guy for free for sending his video in. I just emailed it to him. Hopefully, he gives it a try. But like we just said, he needs to work on everything. The weaknesses that stand out the most, though, is the chest, the upper area. He needs more arm size, and then he got to hit his legs because they look very smooth, which tells me he's holding on to a lot of fat and is hiding his muscle. And when you have developed legs, even if you're holding on to fat, you can still see some muscle under there. So bring up the legs, upper chest development, and build those arms. So push poor legs, in my opinion, is a great, is a great program for him because it's very well-rounded. Now, he also asked me, should he go ahead and cut? Because he honestly wants to get to 150. I think go ahead and get to 150. In my opinion, man, a good bulk should last at least eight months, no less than six. So go ahead. Don't be in a rush to cut. You know, and honestly, summer's pretty much over anyway. And I'm not telling you you should only cut when it's summertime and no shit like that. But, bro. You start at 118 pounds. Go ahead and finish this bulk strong. Yes, you're holding some body fat, but you don't look bad. Go ahead and bulk to 150. See how that look. And honestly, I'll hold it. Get to 150 and hold it for a few months. Go ahead and bulk nine months. Fuck it. Build up your strength. You know, write down how much weight you're doing for how many reps and try to beat those numbers by the month. Even if you only add one extra rep, even if you only add five extra pounds to your squat, the progression over time is what's gonna develop and harden and thicken your physique. And understand, one bulk is not gonna completely give you the physique of your dreams. You know, So don't make the mistake of trying to bulk forever either. You know, these are cycles. Like steroid users have their cycles and shit like that. These are our cycles. You know, bulk, hold on to that size, cut down, see where you're at, enjoy it, take some pictures, you know, and then when you're ready, do another one. And once you get to a point where you feel like you're pretty much satisfied with what you look like, figure out a way to maintain that look. Or, you know, maintain that look while making small improvements while staying lean you know again guys i'm not big on the main gaining shit but if you get to a point where you're happy with how you look maybe you can do some main gaining around that time you feel me but if you're really trying to put on pounds of muscle you're really trying to make dramatic improvements to your physique doing bulking and cutting cycles has been tested tried and proven to work so there it is guys those are my two guests for the day let's give a one more warm thank you to the guys that send their videos in and if you want your video sent in send it to ashbeastmode at hotmail.com don't forget guys i will be in tennessee august 26th 
And August 27th, we're going to have free food and stuff, good vibes, taking pictures, getting the pump. If you want to be part of those good vibes, pull the fuck up. It's two different gyms. We're having a gym on Friday night, and it's going to be a gym on Saturday evening. Look forward to seeing anybody that comes. You already know, about that life items are coming to beastmode316.com pretty soon. I got my program at beastmode316.com and my online macro-based coaching at beastmode316.com. And that's it, fam. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and buy 30 of them bitches, please. Because my boy Bruno, he really does need them treats. Bam! Before we fuck up these weights.